Hi guys, welcome back to the new James Bond show with Crazy TV with no fears, limits, or pops the toots the bad boy of James Bond is back. And I'm probably going to be very bad in this video. What's this video about? Well, this is a video I never ever thought I would make. <sighs> Here goes. This video is about when did Madeline and Bond make Mathilde, the baby? And the reason I'm making this video is because there's so many Muppets out there that just kind of don't get how well the birds and the bees work. Just a little bit of a lesson for the uh, Muppets over at James Bond Radio. Just joking guys, I really do like you Chris and Tom. I actually think you guys are very entertaining and do a great job and are passionate Bond fans. I mean that sincerely. Except Jack Lugo looks like an inflated, retarded Big Mac with Harry Potter glasses put on him. And I can't stand that lefty, but I do like the other guys. But guys, I want to give you a heads up here. You, your listeners and a whole bunch of other channels are saying that, oh, Madeline and Bond got impregnated or Madeline got impregnated in Matera. When they were making lovey dovey just after arriving in Matera. Well, guys, she knew she was pregnant the next day. So you don't kind of, you know, make the baby and find out the next day if you're pregnant. That's not how the birds and the bees work. So I have worked out exactly to put this argument to bed. I have worked out when she got pregnant. Okay. The film roughly, and this, I'm going to prove it, the film roughly takes continues after Spectre about three months, about a month to three months after. How do you know? Because when Madeline's in the car in No Time to Die in the pre-title sequence and Primo and his thugs are shooting the crap out of it, she holds her stomach. When she's on the train, just as the closed doors, she holds her stomach. When she's in the car and she says to Bond, as he gets her in the car and he thinks she's betrayed him, and she says, James, I have something to tell you. And he's like, I bet you do. What Madeline wanted to tell James was, I'm pregnant. That's what she wanted to tell him. So here's my theory. And let me know in the comments below if you guys think I am right. Remember the lovemaking scene in Spectre just after Mr. Hinks went <laughs> out the door? And then Bond looks at Madeline, or one of them says to the other, what do we do now? I think it was Madeline that said it and Bond kind of looks at her and they go into the room and they have rumpy pumpy and make love. That is when they created the baby, according to my theory. That's what I reckon. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of that. I think that is the obvious choice. And then that way, because also I want to prove something else here. Now, with Madeline wanting Bond to go and visit Vesper's grave, to forgive her, move on, put that behind him, and so their relationship can build a solid foundation and they can go on with all the lies, all the secrets, all the hurt, all the anguish, done. That wouldn't have happened a year away. That wouldn't have happened probably even three or four months away. So that's happened pretty soon after Spectre. That's why we know the films really within that one month, two, three at the max, months after after Spectre. So that is when I believe she got pregnant. So I just want to put that to bed because guys, 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 you guys probably think that, you know, a stork brings babies as well and they don't actually come out of the love hole. So Crazy Kajibi just wanted to clear that up. You know why? Because no other James Bond channel is going to do it. Because none of you are smart enough. Anyway, that's been me. <laughs> Keep on bonding and say hi to all your mums for me. And your baby mamas. See ya. Bye.